Hello and welcome to Study with Sudhir, your digital classroom. I am T.S. Sudhir and with me is Tejasvini Uma Sudhir. We are coming with the key, the solutions to the physics paper which you have just about given. The answers, the solutions have been provided by a senior physics teacher but because the teacher also goes for evaluation, the teacher felt that it won't be proper in, uh, to actually come on camera and present the answers. So we are just presenting the answers, the solutions that have been provided by this very senior teacher. So, and we are going to be doing section 1, which is the compulsory section of 40 marks. Okay, uh, a lot, many of you, uh, mixed reactions coming into how the paper was. Many of you saying that the paper was very easy, at least that was the initial reaction. But subsequently, I read a lot of comments saying that the paper was not that very easy. Students expecting in the range of 70 to 74 having made some mistakes. So let's just go through section 1. You can check. Those of you feel that this may demotivate you ahead of the chemistry exam, feel free to stay away from any solutions and get straight on with the revision for chemistry examination. Okay. So uh, let's just start. Uh, I'll be reading out the questions and uh, Tejasini will read out the answers. Question 1A. Uh, the first question there is defined moment of force okay so moment of force the definition that you need to write is that the turning effect on a body about an axis due to an applied force is called moment of force now the word axis can also be replaced by fixed axis or fulcrum or fixed point or about a pivot okay so those are the uh, optional keywords that you could possibly use um, the um, evaluator will give you the marks yes. this is for two marks uh, uh, no, that actually that mark. was one mark the second part is write the relationship between the si and cgs unit of moment of force yeah so the si or the C, uh, si unit uh, one newton meter is equal to 10 to the power of 7 dyne centimeter or you could also write it as one dyne centimeter is equal to 10 to the power of minus 7 newton meter if written if you have written newton meter in words then make sure uh, or hope you have written the n in small case not in capitals okay so small small things that you should have taken care of now let's come to uh, the b question which is define a kilowatt r and how is it relate, related to joule this again is for two marks yeah so one kilowatt hour is the electrical energy consumed by an electrical appliance of power one kilowatt can also be written as thousand watts when it is used for one hour and uh, the second part that goes how is it related to joule one kilowatt hour is equal to 3.6 into 10 to the power of 6 joule or 36 into 10 to the power of 5 joule it is asked in joules, so I hope you have not written 3.6 mega joules. Okay. C. A satellite revolves around a planet in a circular orbit. What is the work done by the satellite at any instant? Give a reason. So, the first part of the question, zero is the work done. No work is done by the satellite. And uh, give a reason. The centripetal force, which is the force of gravity of the planet on the satellite, is directed towards the center of the path. And the displacement is normal or 90 degrees or perpendicular to the direction of force on the body. Or you could also say W is equal to F into S cos theta. Theta is the angle between the displacement and the force, which is 90 degrees. Uh, w is equal to Fs cos 90, which is equal to 0 because cos 90 is 0. Okay. Let's come to D and the first part is the, uh, identify the class of the liver shown in this particular diagram. Yes, so the class of the liver is class 3 or it's of the third order. Second part. Second part, how is it possible to increase the MA of the above liver without increasing its length? Okay, uh, so one, you can increase the, uh, uh, you can uh, move, move the effort towards the load. Or you can move the effort away from the fulcrum. Those are the two ways or by shifting the fulcrum towards the load. Those are the ways by which you can uh, increase the MA of the above lever. E. Give one example of each when chemical energy changes into electrical energy. Okay. So one example cell in use or when current is drawn from the cell is the example you can give second one is second question is electrical energy changes into sound energy okay so you can uh, give the example of a loudspeaker which is in use in use is the keyword because uh, that's what you will get marks for 
Okay, now let's come to question number 2. A. A crane A lifts a heavy load in 5 seconds, whereas another crane B does the same work in 2 seconds. Compare the power of crane A to that of crane B. So, power is equal to work done by time. So, you will get PA by PB is equal to 2 by 5. So, you can directly write it as PA is to PB is 2 is to 5. A ray of light falls normally on a rectangular glass slab. Draw a ray diagram showing the path of the ray till it emerges out of the slab. The diagram is on the screen. What you should take care is that the uh, uh, see if you do, draw the rays correctly, you get one mark, and uh, if you ha have put at least two arrows, you get another se the second mark. Complete the path of the monochromatic light ray AB incident on the surface PQ of the equilateral glass prism PQR till it emerges out of the prism due to refraction. Okay, so the diagram is on your screen and uh, if you have labeled it correctly, you get marks. If you have drawn, if you have, you know, uh, mentioned the angle and all that, you will get the, your two marks. Where should an object be placed in front of a convex lens in order to get an enlarged real image? So it should be between F1 and 2F1. A very common misconception which um, this teacher has told uh, us about is uh, that the students may also write it at F1 but it is that is highly magnified and they are asking for an enlarged real image so it should be between F1 and 2F1. The second part is uh, enlarged. enlarged virtual image. So that should be between the optic center and F1 that is F1 is the principal focus. A pond appears to be 2.7 meters deep. If the refractive index of water is 4 by 3, find the actual depth of the pond. So, uh, when once you calculate, you will know that the actual depth of the pond is 3.6 meters. So, the real depth of the pond is 3.6 meters or the pond is 3.6 meters deep. Question number 3. A. The wavelengths for the light of red and blue colors are nearly 7.8 to into 10 to the power minus 7 meters and 4.8 into 10 to the uh, power minus 7 meters respectively. Which color has the greater speed in a vacuum? So, okay. So, both will have the same speed. Uh, that is 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meters per second. Which color has a greater speed in glass? Red, 7.8 into 10 to the power of minus 7 meters. Okay, now let's come to 3B. Draw a graph between displacement from mean position and time for a body executing free vibration in a vacuum. The diagram is on the screen. A sound wave traveling in water has a wavelength 0.4 meter. Is this wave audible in air? Yes, it is audible in air because you get the frequency as 3500 hertz and uh, the audible frequency is 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz and uh, since it is in that range, it, it is audible. Why does stone lying in the sun get heated up much more than water lying for the same duration of time? Okay, so water has a high specific heat capacity of 4200 joules per kg per kelvin which is higher than that of stone. Thus, for the same amount of heat supplied to the stone shows a much higher rise in the temperature. Why is it not advisable to use a piece of copper wire as fuse wire in an electric circuit? Okay, copper is not suited as it has a high melting point compared to the fuse wire. So, thus, it will not melt even if the current exceeds the safe limit. Let's come to question number 4. Calculate the total resistance across AB. Okay, so uh, the, uh, the, uh, the diagram that is given is a mixture of both a series and parallel. So you get 1 by Rp is equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2. You get Rp is 2 ohms and uh, Rab that is R equivalent is uh, Rp plus R3 that is 2 plus 5. So the final answer is 7 ohms. Two metallic blocks P and Q having masses in the ratio of 2 is to 1 are supplied with the same amount of heat. If their temperatures rise by same degree, compare their specific heat capacities. Okay, so C is equal to Q by M delta T. So you get Cp is to Cq is 1 is to 2 or Cp by Cq is 1 by 2 or the specific heat capacity of Q is double that of P. When a current carrying conductor is placed in a magnetic field, it experiences a mechanical force. 
what should be the angle between the magnetic field and the length of the conductor so that the force experienced is zero. They should be parallel that is zero degrees. Number two, maximum. 90 degrees that is when the magnetic field and the length of the conductor are normal to each other or perpendicular to each other. Okay, let's come now to 4D. A nucleus X202 to 84 of an element emits an alpha particle followed by a beta particle. The final nucleus is Y, B to A. Find A and B. So uh, the answer you get is Y, 198, 83. That is A is 83, B is 198. The diagram below shows a loop of wire carrying current I. What is the magnetic polarity of the loop that faces us? Um, it is south pole that is the because the current is in clockwise direction. With respect to the diagram, how can we increase the strength of the magnetic field produced by this loop? By passing more current or you can also write by reducing the resistance in the rheostat. Okay, so that brings us to an end of section 1. I hope you have scored maximum marks out of 40 which is the compulsory section and you would have taken the best 4 as far as the uh, optional uh, section 2 is concerned where you would have had to do 4 out of 6 questions. So hopefully you would score well there. Uh, so do tally your answers with the answers given in this particular video and hopefully you would have done well. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you.